feel the tension here at Cape Canaveral. Sending astronauts to space is a lot more fun than not sending astronauts to space. T minus one minute and counting. And NASA should know. Ignition. For decades, the country that landed six crews of astronauts on the surface of the moon was the undisputed leader among spacefaring nations. But since 2011, after the last of the great American space shuttles flew, the U.S. has been completely unable to launch its own astronauts aboard its own rockets from its own soil. Instead, we have become a grounded nation, a humbled nation, reduced to hitching rides aboard Russia's Soyuz rocket at $80 million a seat. That all changes now. When a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon spacecraft leave the launch pad at Cape Canaveral carrying astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley on May 27th, an entirely new chapter in space travel will begin. The launch marks the beginning of the age of commercial crew flights, a great democratization of the space game, with private companies designing and building glittering 21st century rockets using 21st century technology and selling their services to NASA, leaving the space agency free to focus on its longer term dreams of sending astronauts to the moon and Mars. SpaceX is not the only company that will be part of this grand new enterprise. In position to fly soon is Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, which will tag team with SpaceX in getting crews to and from the International Space Station. It is altogether fitting that the upcoming launch will take place from Cape Canaveral's Pad 39A, the same pad from which Apollo 11 launched, carrying the first crew of humans to the surface of the moon. Just as a new era began then, so too is one beginning now. America, once grounded, is flying again.